I, yeah, that's just a little bit on the creepy side. Never mind. These uh, soup mugs are really nice. The chicken and the tomato. You know, Rachel would really like those soup mugs. Oh, is that King Tut or is that Nefertiti? How do you tell the difference between King Tut and Nefertiti? You can. Oh, is it going in the cart? It's going in the cart. evening we broke our heat wave hi it's been starting to get cool it's it not has. been as hot it is right now well it's 90 degrees and I know that seems hot to a lot of people but when we were experiencing like 110 112 this is pleasant it's I trust me it's pleasant it's beautiful and I've been getting a lot of work done at the house a lot of work it's very exciting I'm gonna have to give a tour very soon of all of the things we've gotten done I don't know maybe there will be time on the end of this video to show you a few things maybe, maybe. Or maybe it'll be on the next video or maybe it'll be in there somewhere but anyway so we just dropped Rachel off at horseback riding and we zipped over to Goodwill to see what we can find you looking for stuff for your room so much. Not so much. Yeah. I don't really have anywhere to go with anything yet. We gotta a, a get shelf. the shelves. Yeah, we're looking oh, yeah, for we're looking for shelves. We're looking for shelves. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of organizational storage kind of stuff. That's kind of our home quest right now. That kind of thing. So, what do you say? Let's get shop done. Let's get in there. Let's get shop done. Noah has already found our lucky cart. It was sitting right out here waiting for us. So, we'll do a little twofer. We'll Bring in the cart and uh, we'll call it our lucky cart and shop with it. There we go. Let's see what color is our 50% off. The color is gray. All right, they've got their Halloween going with all the hats. They got all their new merchandise. Oh, what is, look at this. Oh, pfft. I guess it was just sitting up on there. I was like thinking it was some really cool hat, but it's, it, they, okay, I see what they did there. All right, all right, never mind, never mind. Oh, I was looking for the vintage blow mold pumpkins. This is a newer one. You can tell because it's got that really thin strap. You want the one with the thick strap are the vintage ones. Oh, sport one of those, Noah. Sport one of those hats. Let's see what you look like. Let's see how snazzy. Let's see how snazzy you look. Look at, I like it. I like it a lot. It's kind of a, it's kind of a cool uh, Batman kind of guy there. Let's see. Noah, see if you can see a date on that. What is this? See if you can see a date. Oh my gosh. What is, it's like bug eyes. So it's put, the, put that one, let's, let's see that one. Let's go ahead. Like, let's, we'll just do the try on session with Noah here. I, yeah, that's just a little bit on the creepy side. Never mind. All right, cute little scarecrows. Oh, another little fabric one. I have one just like this, only a different color. $2.99's a little pricey for me. I'm just not, I don't love it that much. I don't see a date on it. Oh, and then there's taco hats. Hot dog costume. Oh, okay. Oh, I see, I see more on the other side. Oh, there's the, um, there's the scream. What does he do? I don't know what he does. I'm not really, I'm not really into the scream. I'm not really into the skulls. I'm not really into any of that. I'm kind of into more of the, you know, the cutesy guys like this. But he's... Mom, I am your son. Okay. He's cute, but he's missing his innards. Now, you know, I usually pick these up. This one's missing his battery cover. These are called melted popcorn plastic and they sell really, really well on eBay. They really, really do. Oh my goodness, you're just into the mask trying on. No, I'm not digging it. I'm not, I'm not digging it. 
Negative. Said something from Dia de los, de los Muertos. Day of the Dead. It does look like that a little bit. All right, I think we're gonna move on to the more exciting like stuff. I'm not. Let's let's move on to more exciting things. Oh my gosh, no. Let's move on to more nice. exciting things. All right, let's see anything in the art since we're back here first. I do like the seeds for sale sign. I love the colors in this. I mean, this is just like a probably picked up at Hobby Lobby kind of a thing. I just don't know that I have anywhere to go with it. But man, I love that. I really, really love it. It kind of goes along with that tray that I bought. Five. I'm going to put it, I'm going to put it in the cart. I see you showing me a dog. He's way too big to pick up. I might actually be able to find a spot for this. Or I think somebody would want to buy this. And it's $5.99. Yep. Yep, we're going to get that. First item. Oh, my, my, my. We're here. Ooh, he's not a very friendly looking character. All right. Uh, we're here a little bit late in the evening, so I don't know when they last put out a card of stuff, but there is always the chance of finding good things no matter what time we come. And frankly, I did so good the last couple of Goodwills I've been at that I, uh, it's okay if I don't get a ton this time. A house is made of walls and beams. A home is built with love and dreams. I think I saw this. Yeah, see, it's half price now. It's only $1.50. That is so sweet. I just love the saying. Oh, goodness. No, no, Danny. No, don't do it. Don't do it. All right, there's a nice vintage lamp. These can actually do quite well. It's a long tail item. You'll sit on it a while, but when you sell it, you sell it for good money. Shipping is kind of a pain, so I don't tend to pick those up. Just, I made that mistake. Picked it up before and then got stuck with them for a while. This is an elephant wax warmer. It is $5. That wax would come off of there pretty easy. I'm not worried about that. It does hot. It's really dirty. Oof. I tend to find that if they're not scentsy, they're only worth like $15 to $20. So I don't think I want to put that amount amount of work into him to just get that much. It's not a very functional clock. Whatever. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> we kind of started in the back, Noah. We did. So not like us. There's not much in the back either. These these shelves don't have anything too exciting. All right. Well, there is a cart. There is a cart out here. This oh, that is covered up. Let's see. Oh, it's epic, epoch, epic. It's pretty, but oh, little stone. That's Malachite, that's Carnelian, that's Carnelian. How much is that little bag of goodness? It's $5. I'm gonna grab the stones. He is very, very cute, but I'm going to resist. I'm gonna resist. I know, I'm gonna resist, Noah. I'm gonna do it. Resisting, resisting. What is this? Oh, it's a safe that needs a new lock put on it. That's what that is. Okay, well, I'm not seeing too much excitement in the I metal shell. If I wanted to. You could, because you don't have birds over in the casita. I'm far enough away that you are. no risk of harming any birds. That is true. Do you like candles? No, not really. No, not really. <laughs> Santa's. Hmm. What do you think? Give me a very reflective M. A very reflective M. Yes. Or W. Or I'm pretty sure it's an M. I'm pretty sure it's an M. Um, pretty sure it is. Would you like some cheese with that wine? <laughs> I can I can sling the cheese. Oh, look at the little wood doll cradle. It's really sweet.
Who are you, little little owl? I'm preparing to do a Halloween themed. I'm actually going to do it on my live sale and I'm going to do a whatnot sale. I've got a, two Halloween themed sales coming up and I've got quite a bit of stuff. I, I have more stuff than I thought I had already. So I'm excited. That's going to be coming up. I do my live sales on Fridays at 1 p.m. Pacific time. And I do my whatnot sales on Mondays at 3 p.m. Pacific time. Look at that cute little guy. How much is he? How much is that piggy in the window? Uh, he's I'm, he's $4.99. It's sweet, but I am going to pass like on the piggy. Of course you like the fake plant. It just... Of course you do. Looks a little bit cheap. Yeah, and you have so many. So so many big plants can't have too many <laughs> oh this reminds me i still have a wig um that, that i have a challenge and have to wear no i have a pink wig that i have to wear i was challenged by mikey bags of money and i'm i am going to fulfill my end of that challenge soon there he goes He's ditching me. He's going to the shoes. I see a Tommy Bahama Pocket Rockets 2009 ashtray. The big smoke. I might look that one up. I might look that one up. I want to stick it in the cart and try to remember to look it up. See if that is worth picking up. Some Tommy Bahama stuff is worth picking up. Cabo. I see a moose. It's a mama moose. It has no horns. Oh, it's got a broken, two broken ears. Two broken ears, though. That is unfortunate. That means it can't come home with me. That's a little ruffled red dish. Nothing too exciting. Goodness. Oh, these are interesting. They're trivets, but they're birds and they're marble. And they are they're painted with oh that's a that's a heavy pumpkin. Um I don't know if that one's supposed to be discolored like that. I mean they're definitely got some age on them. That one's it's got kind of a scratch. Oh good. I my, didn't find anything. My voice is back here again. What do you think of these, Noah? I like them. You like them? What about the yellow on that one? Does that kind of like take away the... Yeah, it doesn't match. Yeah, I think that one's super discolored. Like whatever finish they put on it. Should we pick these two up? I think we should. They're three ninety nine. dollars All right, we're going to grab those two. Oh, is that King Tut or is that Nefertiti? How do you tell the difference between King Tut and Nefertiti? I don't know either. Unfortunately, this is all peeling and not in great shape. Puppies. Puppies no, are cute. Chipped. Oh, no, it's not. It's, it's a plate. A yeah, it's a plate, though. This is kind of a cool piece, but very cheaply made. Candles. Lots of candles. Oh, goodness. There he goes again. There he goes again. Noah, look, right there, right there. Yes. Do you know what that is? Something you bought before. It's a turtle shell. Yeah, I have. I've actually, I'm not quite like this one's metal. This was a threshold piece, but I don't care. I don't see uh, a price on it. I don't see a price either, but they're usually it pretty, like there was a tag pretty fair at the store, but that's going in the cart. Yeah. This has been here a while, and um, we can't quite figure out why. Is it a hat holder? Is that why this is, like, up there? This thing's and, broken. Oh, yeah. You know what? It is broken. It wasn't. It wasn't. It's had an apple here, but now it's probably it falling. It was probably like you put your hat here and your coat here. 
but people have munched it so bad that it is now in a state like my, uh, of disarray. My helmet holder has a spot for a suit to hang underneath it. Oh, does it now? Not I so. just hang my gloves there, though. I'm trying to read ambient, ambient, Gerlandis, Ger that's what it is. Kind of pretty, but big, bulky, and not worth enough to do the shipping on that. That is a cute little, uh, he's pulling me, he's pulling me. I, I think he might just be a hobby piece, but he's $2.99 and I love him. I'm getting him. What is that? It's a pasta maker. pasta maker or a meat grinder of some sort I don't know it's one of those kind of kitchen contraptions that I don't use oh my this is a little bit uh, barren on this shelf too hmm I think maybe donations have just slowed down right now probably maybe I don't know I'm just speculating that that might be the case. Nothing, nothing exciting except maybe this. Let's look at this. Kind of had a neat design to it, but it's it feels newer. Old glass just feels old. Little tennis rackets and little rocking horses. I wonder what those were about. Huh. All right gonna shop the other side of it just to make sure I didn't miss anything that might have found its way over here. Nothing too exciting though, huh Noah? There's a Christmas tree holder. A Christmas tree holder, that's just what we need. How about a uh, a belly casting kit? How about that? Why would you want that? <laughs> pregnant women do it to, you know, mold their pregnant bellies. It's a thing. It's a thing. All right, hitting the plastics. Let's see, what do the plastics hold for us? I'm not seeing anything in the plastics today. Nope. Okay, Noah, let's see if there's any super cool glasses. Do you have your black light? I think I put it in my purse. I think I did. Maybe. I don't know. You want to play Blacklight? I don't know. I, actually, I, I don't know. I don't remember if I put it in my purse. I think I put it in my purse. I, I remember having it in my hand and having the intention of putting it in my purse. It's all by itself. It's the little purple one. He's, he's, he's behind me grabbing in my purse and pulling me so I can't move forward. <laughs> oh, we found it. Ew, good. See, it's just here. Come here, slowly. It's just this little guy right here and he found it. I'm very proud of him. That probably was not easy to find in my purse. Oh, that's, that's got a nice look to it. That does. And it's, oh, it's heavy. It is heavy. It would need to really be a name in order to deal with this. And I don't see a name on it. Really a pretty bowl. I wish I had like a place for it. I wish I had something I could do with it because I really, I really like the look of that, but I don't, I don't. So it must, it must stay. Oh, let's see. Oh, look at this. Uh, <laughs> she's a little, she's a little naughty, but uh, that is kind of cool. It's like, I guess a mug would go down in this and it's got, it's got a dragon and then it's got the naughty lady, which I don't know how those two go together. Why is there a, a naked lady and a dragon? <laughs> she's going everywhere with the black light. Why is there a naked lady and a dragon together? I don't know. It's, it's kind of fascinating. So for $3.99, we're going to pick it up. You should hold on to that, Noah, because we're getting into some more glass where there might could be something. Where's more glass? On the other side, over there, when we get on the next row. 
There is more. Oh, he's digging it back out again. Jeez. <laughs> that is a really nice, really nice pottery mug. It says, Rejoice in the Lord always. Very nice. For 99 cents. It does not glow, Noah. Um, I think we're going to pick that up for 99 cents. These uh, soup mugs are really nice. The chicken and the tomato. You know, Rachel would really like those soup mugs. She really, really would. I think Rachel I'm going to grab a lot of soup. She does. Tomato and chicken are her two flavors of choice, too. So I'm going to get those for Rachel. All right, let's peruse some kitchen stuff. Graydon Hall can be a pretty decent brand, but uh, not the kind of thing we're looking to pick up today. Oh, what is, what is that? Oh, it's super lightweight. No, it, no, it doesn't glow. It's not going to glow. They cover it, but it just, it has like no weight to it all. Definitely does not feel like quality. He's, he's checking it all. He's just checking every little single thing. It's cracking me up. Ah, the little Santa Anita mug. Still here, waiting for a home. What is this? That's just a little hobby piece. Okay, let's see. Well, nothing exciting tonight. I usually find at least one exciting thing on these shelves. Not tonight. There's a piece of pink depression glass, but it's not exciting. It's just not exciting. Okay. Hey Noah, anything exciting in the uh, cookware? No, not really. No? Anything exciting in the utensils? Wow, there's Whatever a lot this of utensils. Noah's trying to figure out what this is. I know it has something to do with, you use it at a bar or something, but I don't, anybody know? What do you do it with? It looks like some kind of mixer mixed with a spatula mixed with like a bottle opener. <laughs> yeah, it is a little odd. I don't, I don't, I'm not a bartender. I don't know what to do with that. I just don't know. Oh, that's a pretty I color, like but I don't buy those used. I like the plasticky, softer, helps keep my pans alive. That is true. You want to use those with your good pans. Yep. Absolutely right, my son. Because my pans scratch easy. All right. Ooh. Okay, well, you know what? I'm okay not finding too many things tonight because we scored really, really well on the last couple of shopping trips and... Especially the last one. I am excited to say the garage is coming around. We're getting organized. Like, I am super happy. I actually hired somebody off TaskRabbit uh, today who moved a bunch of stuff around where it needed to go and I'm pretty happy with the results. Bathroom stuff. Mishy mashy. Nothing in the mishy mashy. Nothing in the mishy mashy. What is that? That's handmade soap. That's odd soap. Looks like jelly beans melted in the soap. That's what it looks like to me. Okay. Wow. Well. Nothing in the mishy mashy either. Noah, you know what that means? We got to head over to the toys. Oh, let's see. Let's see what we've got. Oh, is she a puppet? She is a puppet. She's a Lakeshore. Lakeshore's not very high end. They like teacher supplies. And her hair's coming apart, so. Oh my goodness, the big, uh, the big hedgehog's still here that I saw last time. Oh, what did you find? Ooh, that looks like it might hurt. They're foam, but they're still 
kind of got a little solid piece on the inside. I don't think I'd want to get shot by one of those. That does not seem fun. That does not seem like good play. That is an Aurora horse. He's very cute. Oh, he's a puppet. Oh, he's a puppet and he's got his tags. How much are you? You're three ninety nine. dollars All right, we're grabbing him. What is in there? I don't even know what those are. They're kind of cute, but I don't even know what they are. Oh, goodness. Harry Potter puzzle. What car is that? That's interesting. Disney store. It's a Disney. But I don't know whose car that is. I think that's from The Incredibles. Oh, that would make sense that it's from The Incredibles. Yeah. I think. Okay. And a real quick skim of this side. And... I thought that was a mirror. You thought that was a mirror? <laughs> it's not a mirror. You can see right through it. Pocket watch. Pocket watch panda. It's very, very dirty. A very, very dirty My Little Pony. Alright, we can't do very, very dirties. No. No? Okay. Uh, nothing in the toys this time. Alright, let's see what's in the bags tonight. The poises. What does that say? That says something on the lining. Gosh. Help me, help me. There we go. Franco Sarto. That's what that says. What's this? That's a blue purse. <laughs> I don't know. Usually purses have a name on them, and if they don't have a name on them, they're probably not very high end. Little backpack. Ooh, that's like buttery soft leather. I like the feel of that. It was a little too worn out, though. All right. Another cute little backpack. Per oh, that's a really cheap leather. Cheap, cheap leather. You just feel that it's not good quality. All right. I think I said all right like three times, thinking that I was done. So let me make sure I'm done this time before I say all right. Yep, I'm done this time. All right, nothing, absolutely nothing calling to me in the pillows tonight. But do you want to turn Ozzy into a cowboy riding a bucking bra? Would hate that. He would hate it, but it would be super hilarious. But we won't, we won't do it because Ozzy would hate it. I don't think Ozzy would go anywhere with it. Which fine. That is kind of snazzy. It would fit you too. You can. Oh, is it going in the cart? It's going in the cart. And then we found tacos. <laughs> I love the tacos. All right, Noah's Noah's scoring two shirts. All right, not a very full cart tonight, so we're gonna head to the checkout, and then we're gonna go pick up Rachel. Stay tuned for the recap. I'll tell you everything I bought how much it's worth and what I paid for it. And then stay tuned, I'm gonna throw some bonus footage on the end here. I'm just not quite sure what it's gonna be yet, so you have to stick around and find out. All right, let's go check out, Noah.
bucks. 50 bucks. And got a bunch of really cool stuff. You happy with your shirts? Yeah. Apparently they have been busy recently, which is yeah. why their shelves are emptier. That's what he said. He says they've just been super busy wiping out the shelves. And that means that they're pricing right. This store has always priced right. This store has done a really good job with that. Every now and then there'll be something that's like a little like, mm, yeah, it's probably a little more. But you know what? For the most part, this is this is one of my favorite stores to shop at because they price so well. And it and I'm sure it shows in their numbers that the stuff flies off the shelves. And you'll um, have seen it in the recap. We got that turtle turtle shell. Oh yeah, for yeah. What did he charge me? Two ninety nine. Two ninety nine. I thought he was gonna like come back with like like seven or nine ninety nine. Like yeah, no, two ninety nine was two. awesome. He's like, would two ninety nine be okay? I'm like. Yes, please. <laughs> All right. We are headed out to go get Rachel. There's still going to be a little bonus footage on here. Stay tuned for that. But uh, in the meantime... On to the bonus footage. It's a beautiful night for horseback riding. So a little more bonus footage here. Many of you know that um, I had these shelves all set up at the old house. And what I failed to do was like take a picture of how I had, <clears throat> how I had everything. So I'm, I'm having to just redo, which is okay. Because I'm finding that I am going to get rid of some things that don't bring me total joy. And I'm reworking some things that do bring me joy. I decided to put all my books down the side and just on the bottom couple of shelves now <clears throat> within my books i have separated everything these are like pottery and like porcelain things those are all my pottery books these are some general art books mostly general art books some jewelry just some things that i don't have enough for a whole shelf these are all my glass books and the glass books took two shelves because I have lots and lots of glass books here for those who've been wondering are some of the titles that I have and uh, but back before you know more of the internet got really thorough with information you could find this was my go-to this is how I learned about glass and uh, I still I still love to just go into these books and just research you'll see i have three of these like this is my eapg kind of bible this is like the best book i may end up giving some of these away but um this has been the best book for finding patterns of some of this really 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 hard to find glass so yeah i highly highly recommend this book right here all right, and then over here I have more of my, all of my Christian, this is stuff I've just, this is not where this stuff is living. This is like just to get it off the shelves I was working on. 
Um, but these are all my Christian books, my Bibles, my Bible studies, and some miscellaneous. But uh, I started at the top, and I'm pretty happy with how the top turned out. So this is pretty much, I think, how I'm leaving this with plants and birds and the cactus and my little old suitcases up there. I'm super happy. And my little funny wood bunny that I got at the Fantastic Vintage Market. And then I worked my way down and then this was the next shelf I kind of put together. And then the next shelf. So I have a lot of birds in here uh, because I, I have my turtles and tortoises other places. I love how this turned out with my uh, super awesome parasol handle uh, magnifying glass. And then I put some of my pretty, pretty crystals and stones behind it. So they're kind of magnified through that. And I, I really like how that turned out. And you'll see I have a bunch of this stuff like mixed in between everything because I just absolutely love these beautiful pieces from nature. I incorporate them a lot. This is kind of my ocean shelf in progress. I haven't completely finished, and yes, a dragon ended up here. Just because I kept him with the other things that glow. These all glow. So, yeah, he's he's not completely in his new home yet. Um, but just kind of moving some things. This is an ocean, but it just kind of with that abstract and the blue, it kind of fits over here really nicely. And it's in a place where I can look at it all the time because I love it. Um, this is my Atterbury fish. I just love it. It's not something I want to start collecting, but there's certain pieces that just bring me joy, like little treasure craft salt and pepper fish. And uh, let's see. And then I'm kind of moving over here and I'm just making each little vignette as I go. This is my little turtle fairy lamp. And then down here is just some little special things. This is actually my childhood Bible. Uh, so I just, I cherish this. I have other ones that are my go-tos, but this one has all my writing from when I was preteen. I think it was like 1977, maybe even a little earlier that I got that Bible. And then I'm kind of working on these spaces still. Not completely done. I still have a lot of things to unpack, but this is kind of the start of some of my little vignettes. And I love, I love putting vignettes together too. It's just, it's kind of a fun little project for me. And I can change them around and I can do different things. Look at this guy. He's just sitting here on a shelf all by himself waiting for friends. I gotta find him some friends. And then same over here. I haven't quite figured out. I just, I know the Disney, the two Disney things are going together, but I don't quite know what else is going together there. So that is uh, my shelves in, uh, in progress. And then I'll just show you, uh, we don't even want to talk about this side of the room yet. So <laughs> this is um, coming up live sale and whatnot sale Halloween stuff. I've got Disney over there and the shelf over there. So uh, this is this is still a work. I haven't even put my shades on my lamp because it can't go there because it's too close to the wall. I have to find another home. It may get its own special little table over there in the corner. I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure. I have gotten turtles unpacked and into my little turtle cabinets here. And I'm, I'm thinking these are the ones that are going to stay in these cabinets. But then I still might move some around too. I like to put the smaller ones as well as some of my favorite to look at ones because I do spend a lot of time in this office. So that's that's one of the cabinets. That is still waiting for my blue glass to get unpacked, which is going to happen very, very soon. And over here is more of my turtle collection. A little dark in this corner. I apologize. Some of my Mexican pottery, my tanalas, all my little nodderhead ones. I love those. 
and some different ones. I know those are really hard to see, but and then these are some that just bring me joy here on top. This is not, again, I just got them out here to find a little bit better place to put them. Oh, and then all of my business related books are all in here, all my eBay and marketing and I have a lot of books that people have signed for me over the years. So I've got those all over here and uh, we're a work in progress. And here is the bar and the bar stools that I have picked out. It's a little dark, everything is dark, but look at this amazing blue velvet in like a clamshell kind of a, I'm just, I'm so super happy. I got these on overstock.com and they were very, very affordable. The bar I got off of Facebook Marketplace. The aquarium I got secondhand and no fish in it yet, but it, that we're about ready. We're, I, in fact, I have to go to the fish store today, take a water sample and see if we're there. We might be ready to add some snails and crabs. We might be ready. I'm crossing my fingers. Uh, but we still have to mount the lights. The lights are getting mounted underneath the Ikea shelves. And then I get to load these amazing Ikea shelves up with fun stuff. And we're gonna paint that black. So that's gonna happen this week. So that's gonna be black. And so this will be lit up so that the highlight is the aquarium behind the bar and it'll have all the cool fishies in it. I did get these hung up my lacquer you might have if you've been following my channel for a while you might remember me buying those at a like a little outdoor sidewalk sale at the antique mall and um super happy with them up there and then of course we got these guys now when the other tank is set up and working this guy is gonna move over there and be free to roam around again he can't be loose in here because I don't know if you can see all these little, they're called frags and they're all little corals. And well, he was going around and collecting them and traumatizing them. And so he's not allowed in here unsupervised. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing down here? Look at this little, little dude's creepy little eye. He's so funny. I don't know if you can see. Look at that little, look at his little eyeball. Looking around. Oh, and he's moving. I don't know if that's Dumbo or Jumbo. Rachel has named them. We have two. They are, they are a type of conch, conch, conch or cowrie. Conch. No, they're a conch. There's Rocky. No, that's not Rocky. That's Beast. He's a beast because he's so good at his job. He buries things and we have to always undo it. There's Obi-Wan, the Gobi. We've got, that's Rocky. Rocky's back there in the back, ah, coming out now. He's a little ras. And then you got the cleaner. This is Luigi and Charlie. And they're like, come over here so we can clean you guys. They are cleaner shrimps. And they clean parasites and things off of the fish. And the fish really love it. Of course, we got the clown. I don't think we've ever named the clowns. The clowns need names. They really do. Hi, how are you? My little fishy doodles. We got the little pajama cardinals, the blue chromis. We got the little purple firefish is still doing well. And we got the little lone red. He lost his friends in the move. Lost his friends in the move it was a very sad thing. And then I'm in the side view here to show you our anemone split, and he used to be down here, split into two, and now, I don't even know if you can see it, but they're like coming up through the rocks now, and they're causing problems for my little leather coral over there, so I'm not sure what we're gonna end up doing about him. He's kind of being a problem child. Things will change when this comes out of here, it, it changes the water flow, and I think they will move back down in get where they're supposed to be. Look at my little clowns. They follow me. Only because I mean food. That's it. That's the only reason they love me. All right, so that's uh, that fishy tank. It's doing really, really well after the move. We haven't lost anybody. 
And we're probably going to add maybe just a couple more fish here in the very near future. And oh yes, did I mention I got all matching bar stools to go over here. So all the bar stools are going to match. And I'm pretty excited about that. And we'll give a little guinea pig update. Don't mind the dirty cage. It is cage cleaning day in the Ackerman household. Hello, my sweets. Hello, are you looking for a treat? Yes, you're looking for a treat. Yes, you're very spoiled little guinea pigs. Little spoiled little pigger, pigger, piggers. Hello, girls, hello. And then these girls over here, well, hello. <laughs> How do you mama say? Oh. You want to be touched, but you, you just want it to be about food. I get, I get how you go. But there's our, there's our sweet girls there. I will now have to get them a treat or I will be in serious guinea pig trouble because how do I deny those faces right there? Yes, how do I deny you? I can't. All right, treats coming up. All right, hay has been delivered. One of them goes to the inside because this is a two-sided feeder. So one of them's inside eating. And uh, she's still waiting for, she's holding out for something better. These guys are holding out for something better too, but hay's gonna have to be it for right now. And this is my area to conquer today. I am going to conquer this pile. Some of this is actually inventory that needs to go out by the other inventory. This is all empty boxes. I've pulled some turtles out that are gonna go up in the kitchen, up on those shelves. I just have to bring in the stool to do it. And, uh, and then there's my new rug that's gonna go under there. And then we're gonna get a pool table and all will be right with the world. Go be profitable. And? Make it fun. Make it fun. We'll see you on the next one.